Unit 6 Grammar Conditionals 0 and 1st Content Standard Main Skill This is a grammar focused lesson, so listening, speaking, reading, and writing skills are not explicitly covered. Learning Standard Main Skill This is a grammar focused lesson. So, listening, speaking, reading, and writing skills are not explicitly covered. In this lesson, we are going to focus on language or grammar focus, zero and first conditional. Materials and references Close up student's book, page 73 and close up teacher's book, page 62 to 63. Let's watch this video. Zero conditional. If and the present simple in condition, present simple in the result. And the result is always true, a fact. If you respect the planet, you recycle your rubbish. If you don't recycle your rubbish, you don't respect the planet. If you drive a car, you probably use petrol. If you don't drive a car, you probably don't use petrol. First conditional. If and the present simple in condition and the result with will or won't. The result of probable situations. If we clean the oceans, the fish will live. If we don't clean the oceans, the fish won't live. If we plant more trees, the forests will grow. Unless we plant more trees, the forests won't grow. Second conditional. If and past simple in condition and would or wouldn't in result. The result of improbable situations. If the North Pole melted tomorrow, your city could be underwater. If you didn't have a boat, you wouldn't like that. If you went to space, you would need a space suit. If we didn't have the ozone layer, the sun would burn us. If, unless, respect, recycle, drive, use, clean, live, plant, grow, melt, be, have, like, go, need, burn. Zero, first, and second conditionals. Six point one zero conditional, zero and first, second conditional, if. Let's look at the table. When if clause and main clause in present simple. We use the zero conditional 
to talk about the results of an action or situation that are always true. We can use when instead of if. Let's look at the examples. If a football player is shown a red card, he leaves the pitch. When a football player is shown a red card, he leaves the pitch. 6.2 First Conditional Look at the table. When if clause in present tense, main clause with will plus bear infinitive. We use the first conditional to talk about the results of an action or situation that will probably happen now or in the future. For example, if my team wins the match, I'll be thrilled. If it's still raining later, we'll play indoors. We can use can, could, may, or might in the main clause instead of will. We can also use an imperative. For example, if John scores a goal, we might win the game. If you aren't doing anything tonight, watch the match at my house. 6.3 Second Conditional Let's look at the table. If clause in past tense and main clause with would plus bear infinitive. We use the second conditional to talk about the results of an action or situation that probably won't happen now or in the future. For example, you would be healthier if you took some exercise. We use the second conditional to talk about the results of an action or situation that we know will not happen now or in the future. For example, if I won an Olympic gold medal, I'd be famous. We can also use the second conditional to give advice. Let's look at example. If I were you, I'd take up a sport. We can use could or might in the main clause instead of would. Such as, Jack could win the tournament if he trained harder. If you left now, you might be on time for the match. Please take note that we usually use were for all persons in second conditional sentences. For example, if Luke were better at football, he'd be on the team. 6.4 Unless We can use unless in first and second conditional sentences. It means the same as if not. For example, Lucy won't be happy unless she gets chosen for the netball team. Mr. Martins couldn't go to the match unless he had a ticket. Look at these conditional sentences. And answer the questions below. Zero conditional. If you exercise regularly, you stay in shape. When a player gets the ball in the net, he scores a point. First conditional. If Josh plays football all today, he'll be too tired to go to the party. My parents might or may Buy me a present if I win the tournament. If Tabitha does that again, she could get a red card. Look at number one. Which conditional is used to talk about something that is likely to happen in the present or in the future? The answer is first conditional. Number two. Which conditional is used to talk about facts and general truth? is zero conditional. Number three, which conditional 
can you use when instead of eat? The answer is zero conditional. Number four, which conditional can we also use may, might or could with? The answer is first conditional. Do these activities in your notebook. Activity B, use the prompts to write zero conditional sentences in your notebook. One to six. Activity C, match and then write sentences in your notebook using the first conditional. One to six. Let's discuss the answers. Number one. If you hit the ball past the other player, you get a one point. Number two, if you boil water, it evaporates. Number three, if you mix orange and brown, you get yellow. Number four, if you sun bath for hours, you burn. Number five, if you get to the end first, you win the race. Number six, if you eat too much, you get fat. We have done with activity B just now. It's time to look at activity C. Match and then write sentences in your notebook using the first conditional. Number one, be thirsty, drink some water. Sentence, you should drink some water if you are thirsty. Number two, feel cold, put on a sweatshirt. Sentence, I might put on a sweatshirt if I feel cold. Number three, be hungry, eat something nutritious. Sentence, if Josh is hungry, he'll eat something nutritious. Number four, be tired, take a short break. Sentence, if you are tired, we'll take a short break. Number five, want to win, try your hardest. Sentence, if you want to win, you must try your hardest. Last one, not want to be late for the race, catch the bus on time. Sentence, if you don't want to be late for the race, you should catch the bus on time. Activity D. Complete the text with the correct form of the verbs in brackets. Now let's discuss on the answers. Number one, the answer is don't know. If you don't know what virtual sports are, could you guess from the name? Number two, comes. When something new comes onto the market, everybody wants to buy it. Number three, don't have. If you don't have enough time to go to a sports club, you can exercise at home. Number four, is raining. Moreover, you can play a game of tennis or football when it is raining outside. Number five, do. However, there is one disadvantage. When you do virtual sports, you don't have an experienced instructor to give you advice. Last one, we love. So, if you are one of those people who doesn't want to leave the comfort of their own home, you will love virtual sports. Link will be given by your teacher for more exercises later. Thanks for watching everyone. Hope to see you again on our next lesson. Don't forget to subscribe this video, like and share.